In this video, I wanna get into a brief discussion about the Notorious Trap Bar. People either love it or hate it, or you're like me and you're kind of indifferent to it. But we'll talk about that. I also wanna talk about why you guys might wanna consider picking one of these up in the home gym alongside, say, a squat harness to further increase the versatility and really improve upon some of the limitations of this product. Because this can really be a great alternative to say a barbell and a squat rack. Of course, those things are awesome in their own right for say doing things like lower body exercise and of course things like deadlifts. Uh, I personally only really use my squat rack for like benching and deadlifting. Uh, so it only gets kind of one little use, but those are primary uses. But let's say you don't have the space for something like that, or you just want something else to kind of supplement for some lower body exercises. This could be a viable option because aside from this, you can do things like heavy you know, dumbbells and stuff like that, but that can be kind of cumbersome. There's very few other tools that can adequately load your lower body in the gym. Of course, there are resistance bands. I've covered that many times. I hear you guys scream at the screen, but let's just say you want something that is using that free weight tension. There's few other things that are out there, I believe, in a home gym, aside from like, you know, leg-based machines that would cost you a lot of money and also a lot of space. Before I get into like some of the pros and cons, limitations, and ways to take advantage of it, say with a squat harness, a little brief intro about this thing. Uh, trap bar, hex bar, diamond bar, it goes with all sorts of different names. We're just gonna say it's the trap bar, but it is kind of fairly versatile. Most people will use it for, you could say squatting or deadlift patterns. It depends how you wanna phrase that, because you can hinge at your hips and do these exercises. You can kind of do more of like a squatting based pattern, but we'll get into one of the limitations of let's say a squat based pattern is you're gonna be generally stopping short because of the diameter of the plates. But I'd say by definition, yeah, you're picking up dead weight off the ground. See so if you wanna call it deadlift, it's up to you, but point is that's more or less what this thing is used for. And if you go on the internet, people are gonna either, like I said, start either love, hate it, or like me and you're indifferent to it. And again, when I first started with these, I, like most people, loved them when I was a kid because you could load a lot of weight on there. And if you didn't have the deadlifting skill down with a barbell, your ego felt pretty good. Of course, you could put some you know, straps on here, load the weight pretty heavy. You could do things like heavy shrugs with them. And so I really, for the last 15 years, had no real reason. I didn't really hate them, didn't like them. I just didn't really care about them. Never really used these things, never touched them. I'd rather prefer to do a leg exercise in a barbell or machine, whatever, um, or say just do a deadlift with a barbell, not one of these things. But I certainly have noticed in recent years, especially in strength conditioning gyms, you guys see a lot more of these. And for one reason or another, it might just be because it's easier to teach some of the basic lifting skills uh, for athletes. They're kind of gravitating a lot more towards this. Again, a lot of people saying that's a very wrong decision, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. I do think you see a rise in popularity of these. Part of that could have been around 2020 when the, it was the Army uh, started adopting a, they call it a hex bar, three rep squat, I believe, for one of their fitness testing. So they're actually incorporating these in the Army for their fitness testing. That could have been part of the rise, but my point in saying is that I see these things kind of go up in popularity, but I still see people kind of really knocking these and saying they're inferior to, say, a barbell. I would just say, like every tool, they got their pros, they got their cons. It's really up to you to say if it's really worth it to take advantage of it uh, and pick one up. Just some general pros and cons, starting with some cons. I think the big one for most people is, while it is fairly versatile, you are kind of limited to the confines of the specific design of these things. So you only can really put your grip here. Uh, depending if that works with your dimensions, that may or may not work for you. If you want to say use it for lower body exercise, you'll still feel, I think, a lot in your quads. But if you want to get a little bit lower, getting some of the glutes uh, involved too, or just working more holistic, area around your whole legs, I think you might wanna get a little bit lower, and for most people, that's gonna be a limiting factor. And then, just like with a barbell, you're only really as good as your grip, so maybe your legs are strong, and maybe you don't wanna put excess you know, stress on your shoulders or something like that. Uh, it's a grip-based, maybe limitation. Of course, you could use things like straps, but uh, that's just the other limitation. You can't really focus directly on your lower body, say with something like a barbell squat, where you can do that more so. And then some of the pros, it is kind of versatile. You can do things like farmer's walks, a variety of trap lifts, like I said, squatting, deadlifting type, hinging type patterns, depending on the position. A big pro I've heard from many people throughout the years, and you guys have probably heard this yourselves, whether it's legit or not, depending on how much they know the skill of just lifting with a barbell, People will say this is the only way they can do a deadlift, or they feel like it's one of the few exercises that really works for them in one reason or another. So that could be something. It just works for people. It's just comfort level and their preferences. And then finally, I'd say one of the biggest pros is it's relatively space-saving. You can make the argument that it's you know just as big and bulky as, say, a traditional barbell uh, and more limiting in the exercise you can do. But if you really want to take advantage of a barbell, you can use a rack. So maybe you don't have the room where you have a small apartment, you can't fit a whole squat rack in there, but you want something that's a good leg exercise. Or like I've been saying throughout the video, you want something that can supplement, say a leg exercise, another leg exercise you can do. Uh, this would be a viable option. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Granted, you're gonna need some free weights though. 
Now where the squat harness comes in, and I think the main purpose of why I wanted to share this video is because the squat harness, this is not a paid promotional video. I just pick up things and I'll share stuff with you. I think that'll help you and I think this will. There is a promo code with this, shameless plug. I'm gonna check it out on the screen. I'll show you guys that. I made a whole separate video about this. I'll link it down below. But what's great about using a squat harness is it now opens up a lot more doors. And that's what really attracted me to really wanna get this thing, not just for the sake of the video and sharing with you guys, but because I'm gonna take advantage of this. So with the squat harness, you can just put the harness on, obviously. And what it allows you to do is, one, it takes your hands out of the picture. So you don't have to worry about grip, which you could say maybe is a, a negative thing because you can't work maybe your traps as you're doing the lift, but you can always go back to that. And that you can just focus on the lower body. I can hold on to the squat harness handles and just work the lower body. But primarily the biggest thing is that depending on, say, how you want to adjust the straps, I can set it up really low. So when I stand up, I get a greater range of motion, which really turns this into another solid lower body, I'd say squat loading type exercise you can do progressively with heavy weight where previously, like I said, I'd be kind of stopping short personally. But I'd say another great pro, aside from just being another solid lower body exercise with the squat harness, is that it's a very safe exercise. You can go to absolute failure, and if you get to that failure point, you just lower the weight, and you're pretty much fine. The point was, I just want to share this with you guys, another great alternative uh, or other compliment, like I've been saying, for a lower body exercise in a gym or home gym, especially a small uh, gym space if you guys don't want a lot of stuff. Any questions, comments, feedback, let me know. I'm sure there's a lot of emotions or feelings about the trap bar. Happy to hear it. And I'll see you guys on the next video.